Hey, this week I'm looking at polychaining three Behringer Craves. I'm going to be using the new Synth Tool app, the Synth Tribe, which was released in March of this year, uh, 2021, uh, along with the most recent update for the Crave, and we'll take a look at what those are too. Stick around. <laughs> So, what is polychaining? Polychaining is where we connect two or more synths together in order to add additional voices in whatever combination of voices these synths have, be it monophonic or polyphonic. How we choose to connect these synths depends on what options are available on the architecture of the synth itself, whether or not it has MIDI or CV capabilities, and then on personal preference. There's a school of thought which considers true polychaining to only be applicable to synths which share common voices, such as, say, multiples of the same synth, or synths with matched VCOs, although in all honesty you can pretty much polychain whatever you please. To connect the synths via MIDI we can easily daisy chain them together, up to a realistic number really. Now I'm obviously using the Behringer Crave here. And that's for a number of reasons, not least being that it's simply one of my favourite synths. Anyone who follows this channel probably knows by now how much love I have for the 3340 VCO chips in these. Another big reason is that by design, Behringer have designed these, uh, not only the Crave, but the majority of their synths to be polychained up to a maximum of 16 voices on their mono synths. Although I've previously chained a DeepMind 6 and a DeepMind 12 together for 18 notes of polyphony which sounds just as good as you'd expect. And if you haven't already seen that video, I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, it's worth a few minutes of your time if you're interested in that kind of thing, which I guess you are to be here now. Now already just having these units daisy chained gives us three voices in unison, which on, his, on its own gives us a great range of options, say either a three voice VCO, or we can detune them for a broader unison spread. But we're gonna be connecting these in actual uh, polychain mode. And to do that, we're going to be using the new Behringer release, the Synth Tribe, which is the new updated version of the Synth Tool. So let's take a look at that now. So obviously, the first place we need to look is the Behringer website downloads page. Here we'll find links to documentation for the, um, for the quick start guide and a description of current release notes, as well as a link for the new Synth Tribe app. Here's a summary of the new firmware updates of the version 1.1.2. Two on the 23rd of March. So we can download the app, extract the contents, and run the software. This opens the Synth Tribe app, and as you can see from the bottom right hand corner there, there's a Crave detected if we plug the Crave in. Immediately, this tells us that there's firmware updates available as well for the Crave, which is pretty handy, and they only take a second to run. So if we look through the menu, we have the general there for. Um, MIDI clock settings and the assign values. The next page down gives us our sequencer options uh, along with the sequencer editor. And then we come to the polychain menu where it gives you the chance to uh, enter the total number of devices that we're going to be using in our polychains. Now, obviously, I'm using three crates, so I'm going to set these to three and then click on enable. We can also enter the polychain uh, function. We can toggle it on and off by using the uh, sustain switch on the front by toggling that on and off four times while the power up lights are still flashing. Also bear in mind that the units have to be set to the same MIDI channel. And here we can see the dip switches on the back of the Crave. For this, I'm going to be setting them all to channel one. So here we can see the red power LED is red rather than orange to indicate that we are in fact in polychain mode. And as it says in the manual, uh, to toggle in and out of polychain mode using the interface itself on the synth, we can do that while the lights are flashing and toggling sustain on and off four times. Now that took us out of polychain. Now to go back into it. And red again. Doing this also saves the um, the settings that we do have that we've set up using the synth tool or the the synth tribe now. 
I'm going to go and do the same for the next in line synth number two. Although I'm not sure you have to do this anymore. I think that they've implemented it so that the polychain function on one, when it requests how many synths are in the chain, I think that it automatically sends it down the line now. But I'm going to do it anyway just to see. So this is all three craves now updated. Um, I've not set polychain on this one being the last in the chain because that's kind of where we want the MIDI to end. That's where we want the last notes to be played. So now I'm going to set these up with the key step pro and see how they sound. So here we have all three connected to the key step, sending MIDI out daisy chain into the first, the second, and then the third. And we can see the little power lights here are on red for polychain mode. And when it receives MIDI data, they turn green and we can get, fire those off in order. So that's three voices all together. These are all set to the same MIDI channel and roughly to the same default patch. If we play a sequence with a couple of chords in, we can mess around um, with the attack and the decay sustain and the filter envelopes on, on these. Gives it a nice variation. So let's have a quick listen to that. So anyway, I hope that this has helped and as ever, feel free to leave any comments or questions down below in the comments section. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe with the bell. Um, I'm going to have lots more fun with these in the future. Many thanks.